So last time we talked about Monoid some more, uh, introduced bit contract, exclusive or monoid, addition of integers monoid, um, and then a monoidal homomorphism between them. Now this, as written, is just a guarded function between the two sets of values. In order to check all of, that all the right properties hold, we introduced the notion of a guarded function between monoids. So here's the first monoid, the second monoid, and the function between the sets of elements. What we get back is something that looks very much like a monoid, but um, is a guarded function. Uh, if we use the identity morphism, I'm sorry, the identity uh, map between the two sets of elements and the same monoid in both positions, then what we get is actually a monoid. Um, so in the same way that contracts are functions and guarded functions are functions, this thing um, When you supply it with the identity, you get a monoid. Otherwise, you get a guarded function between monoids that satisfies all the right properties. So now we can talk about the HOM functor for monoids. And that's down here. Um, given a guarded function between monoids for before and after, we get this function that takes a guarded function between monoids for the middle. Uh, note that these could be identities, so we think of them as, as contracts in that case. Uh, we return something, a new guarded function between monoids. It simply applies before and after in the right way to the corresponding bit of middle. So here this guarded function, you put that guarded function before it and that one after it. Here you need, in the multiplication, you apply the before one to both input elements and the after to the output element of the multiplication for the middle. And similarly, there's nothing to do before um, getting the identity element, so you apply after that one. So there is HOM for the category of monoids.